Be it on Halloween or in the middle of summer, it is always the right time to get into the spooky spirit and pull out some fun horror games to play with your friends. Fortunately, game developers have done a fantastic job over the last few years pumping out some interesting horror co-op experiences, so there's something for everyone. Hello and welcome to Game Rant, my name is Jeffrey. Let's take a look at the 10 best horror games that you can enjoy playing with your friends right now. Number 10, Pacify. Pacify is a horror co-op game that has four players working together to subdue and capture a terrifying little girl capable of immense evil. Players need to explore the house and gather keys, clues, and any tools they can use to appease the malevolent evil. While it can be played solo, it's designed to be one of those scary games to play with friends. Now, this game was created by the developers of Emily Wants to Play, which means while it's simplistic, it's really solid. Few moments are as terrifying as turning a corner only to find an enraged floating little girl ready to haunt you. Number 9, Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia has gained a reputation as one of those great online horror games to play with friends. Up to four players can team up as ghost hunters to enter a haunted area and gather clues as to the nature of the haunting. It's unique in that players aren't actually meant to banish, pacify, or subdue the ghosts. The only goal is to identify what it is and then get out alive. There are various types of ghosts with their own unique characteristics and dangers, of course. There are passive spirits, Uri, that can damage sanity faster, hard to find shades, nearly silent mylings, and the aggressive demons that hunt players anywhere on the map. Number 8, Dead Rising 2 Off the Record. Dead Rising 2 Off the Record and Dead Rising 3 all support two player co op, and they each should be able to get the job done depending on what somebody is looking for. The latter's fast paced atmosphere might be more accessible, but the older games have absolutely superior atmosphere, stories, and characters. Off the Record took Dead Rising 2's story and threw Frank West into the mix, which was a net positive at this point in the franchise. The full campaign can be played in co op, and there's even a sandbox mode for those who just want to mess around in Capcom's world. Yeah, it's good times. Number 7 Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight gives four players the task of escaping a nightmarish map as survivors, while a fifth player, acting as the killer, tries to take them out before they can get away. There are five generators that must be repaired before the doors are ready to be opened, and the killer will be busy knocking down players and placing them on hooks to feed them to the mysterious entity. It's a fun and fast-paced experience that has players lurking in the shadows, employing some interesting skills and perks, and having a wicked good time terrifying their friends as the killer. Number 6, Seven Days to Die. Seven Days to Die is a horror experience where up to eight players have seven days to build a base, gather weapons, establish defenses, hoard food, and then fend off a never-ending wave of the undead that come for the player on the titular seventh day. It requires a good deal of teamwork, strategy, and planning to have a strong enough base to survive as long as possible. The graphics and gameplay are certainly a bit dated, but the game still holds up to be an enjoyable experience overall. Players can really flex their creativity and innovation skills in this interesting survival slash building horror game. Number 5, Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2 is one of the older co-op horror games on this list, and Valve's first-person shooter has aged beautifully and gracefully. In campaign mode, up to four players are tasked with navigating the city of New Orleans to find safety and escape the hordes of mutating zombies. In versus mode, eight players can go head-to-head -head in teams of four, with one side playing the humans struggling to survive, and the other playing the ravenous special infected trying to take them down. This game is fast paced and loads of fun, both as humans and special infected. Number four, Remnant from the Ashes. Remnant from the Ashes is ludicrously fun. Supporting up to three players, people join forces to rid the world of otherworldly creatures known as the Root. This requires players to explore other dimensions and find the source of the terrible swarm. Each player has their own unique character with varying skills and abilities to help everyone survive. If someone enjoys tough games like Bloodborne, but wants guns and a multiplayer campaign, then Remnant from the Ashes is certainly the way to go. Number 3, Resident Evil 5. A lot of players have mixed feelings about Resident Evil 5, but the two-player co-op experience is absolutely a lot of fun. Two friends can fight through the campaign together or jump into a short mercenaries mode that functions like horde mode, but on a timer. 
If a player can get over the annoying inventory management system, they will find that RE5 has a lot to offer for those who want to shoot through hordes of the undead and experience a decent story while doing it. The mercenaries mode is also nice if someone just has a few minutes to play and wants some nice co-op fun. Number 2, Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3 received a lot of flack for being more action-oriented than horror, but its multiplayer has certainly made up for it, at least to some players. Two players can join forces to bring down the Necromorphs on Tau Volantis, and the co-op campaign follows the same story as the solo version. It also has an ingenious game mechanic that causes one player to see things that aren't there for the other player. If players want to see their friend freak out and shoot at empty air or question why their partner can't see the blood-soaked walls too, then Dead Space 3 is a great game to check out, flaws and all. Number 1. World War Z World War Z flew under the radar when it came out, but it's a fun and engaging experience if players don't mind the lack of a decent story. Four players can join forces to bring down a swarm of zombies. Just like the 2013 movie, the game's zombies will clamber on top of each other to surmount obstacles and overwhelm any humans they find around. If a group of friends are looking to gun down as many zombies as possible in a run and gun style of play, then absolutely try out a copy of World War Z. And there we have it, the 10 best co-op horror games to play right now with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stop by the comment section to let us know which horror games you enjoy playing with someone else. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to Game Rant for more top-notch content. And please do like the video and share it around. We'd really appreciate that. You can also head on over to GameRant.com for even more delightful gaming content. Have a truly wonderful and happy day, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.